Honorable Senators, I now proceed to propose the question. That are aware that Article 11 of the Constitution provides that all sovereign power belongs to the people of Kenya and shall be exercised only in accordance with the Constitution. Further aware that Article 12 of the Constitution provides that the people of Kenya may exercise their sovereign power either directly or through their democratically elected representatives. Conscious that Article 10 of the Constitution espouses the national values and principles of governance which include the rule of law, democracy and participation of the people. Further conscious that Article 94 of the Constitution provides the Parliament manifests the diversity of the nation, represent the will of the people and exercise their sovereignty, recognizing that there is a need to embrace consultation, dialogue and consensus building as a way of resolving issues of concern to the people of Kenya, cognizant that despite the constitutional legal reforms on the electoral processes and the electoral laws after every election cycle, there has been mistrust of electoral outcomes, leaving the country divided. Further, cognizant that efforts to enhance constitutionalism, the rule of law and respect for human rights need to be promoted. Aware that there has been previous calls and attempts at building consensus on issues of concern to the people of Kenya through bipartisan engagements in parliament, appreciating the need to, to establish an inclusive forum for dialogue, consultation and consensus building in seeking to promote the peace, stability and prosperity of the country, acknowledging that the majority party in parliament and the minority party in parliament have agreed to embrace dialogue through the establishment of a national dialogue committee to recommend a way forward on issues of concern to the people of Kenya. Now, therefore, the Houses of Parliament resolve as follows. That the two Houses of Parliament establish a National Dialogue Committee consisting of 10 members to represent the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance hereafter Kenya Kwanzaa, a coalition constituting the majority party of, the, of Parliament of Republic of Kenya, and Azmio Laumoja, one Kenya coalition hereafter Azmio, a coalition forming the minority party of Parliament of the Republic of Kenya. That each coalition shall appoint five members of, uh, to the National Dialogue Committee. That the membership of the National Dialogue Committee shall be drawn from Parliament and outside Parliament. The National Dialogue Committee shall comprise the following members to represent Kenya Kwanzaa. The Honorable Kimani Ichungwa, uh, Delegation Leader, Governor Sisley Mbarire, Deputy Delegation Leader, Honorable Senator Aaron Chiriot, uh, Honorable Hassan Omar and uh, Honorable Catherine Wabilianga. That the National Dialogue Committee shall comprise the following members to represent Azimio. His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, Delegation Leader. Honorable Opio Wandai, Deputy Delegation Leader. Honorable Amina Munyazi. Honorable Eugene Omalwa and Honorable Senator Okongo Mogeni. That the mandate of the National Dialogue Committee shall be to facilitate dialogue and consensus building and recommend appropriate constitutional, legal and policy reforms on issues of concern to the people of Kenya to be framed by the National Dialogue Committee in line with the Constitution and the laws of the Republic of Kenya and respecting the functional and institutional integrity of state organs. The Houses of Parliament notes that the technical teams representing Kenya Kwanzaa and Azmio shall support the National Dialogue Committee. That the technical team representing Kenya Kwanzaa shall comprise the following persons, Dr. Muthomi Ithiankolu, Dr. Linda Musumba, Dr. Duncan Ojuang, and uh, Nikki Biketi. That the technical team re representing Azmio shall comprise the following persons, the Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, Professor Adams Olo, Abakri Zen Abakri, and Lynn Ngugi. That further, the National Dialogue Committee shall be assisted by two officers designated as communication secretaries, one of whom shall be appointed by the leader of majority party and the other by the leader of the minority party. The Houses of Parliament further resolve that the National Dialogue Committee shall formulate and adopt a framework agreement to guide the bipartisan talks. That the National Dialogue Committee shall report to the leadership of Kenya Kwanzaa and Azmio Coalition within 60 days and after that submit its report to Parliament. That in the execution of its mandate, the National Dialogue Committee may invite, engage with, and consider submissions from stakeholders, collect views from the public, and engage experts, professionals, and other technical resource persons as necessary. That the National Dialogue Committee shall determine its own rules of procedure. That the speakers and clerks of both houses of parliament shall provide 
uh, provide secretariat and any other necessary support to facilitate the work of the National Dialogue Committee. I will therefore proceed to call upon uh, honorable senators to make their contribution to this motion. However, before I do so, I will allow uh, Senator Lelegwe. What is your point of order, Senator Lelegwe? 